Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people reveal the worst thing their sibling have done. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. She had a nice job working for the FBI. Her job was to do background checks on people in need of security clearance. There was a guy she knew and liked, a cruise ship captain, needed to renew his clearance. To try to get him pissed at his girlfriend, my sister added items to his girlfriend's criminal record. Since it was a renewal, the guy escalated it and what my sister did was discovered. She was convicted and sent to federal prison for a year. What really screwed it up was she didn't tell her kids. They were in the late teens and early 20s that she had court issues. So they came home from school to an answering machine saying, Mummy can't make dinner tonight because she'll be in prison for a while. Whoa, 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 she did all that just for a guy. <laughs> Why would you be willing to commit a crime just because of a guy? Seriously. Vice versa too, you know? Don't commit crimes just because you like someone. I was maybe eight or nine when this happened. For context, my dad was deployed and my mum was working. So my brother had to babysit me. My brother was around 16 at the time. As soon as my mum left, he shoved me into a closet and locked me inside for six or so hours. I was scared of the dark and couldn't reach the light string. He didn't let me out to use the bathroom or eat anything. So I ended up going on myself and sitting in the dark until my mum came home. She told me that he was asleep in his room when she got home. Wait, so did the mum find out what happened? He married a girl. Wedding had a lot of screw use to our family in it. But aside from those announced at the wedding, we're pregnant. Turned out about four months at that point, they had the baby. One month later, he announces, it's too much. I can't take this. I'm leaving and going to move in with a friend from work. Turns out friend from work is eight months pregnant at this point with his next kid. By some miracle, he doesn't leave that girl when the baby is born, but gets her pregnant again about as soon as possible. I don't know if she wises up or something else at that point, but baby mama number two kicks him out then. <gasps> Now he lives in my parents' basement, refuses to drive an hour to see his kids because what good is that? One of those kids he spent the first month of life with and has seen about a dozen times since. The second I think he spent the entire first, call it 10 months of their life together, till mummy was knocked up again and hasn't seen since and the third he'd never seen. Wow. What? Oh my gosh, what happened at the wedding though? Like did his family tell him not to go through with the wedding? And then at the wedding, he's just like, screw you all, I am going to get married and have my kid kind of thing. What in the world? One month later? Wait, but the other chick was pregnant for eight months. So he, what? <laughs> the timeline, dude. Wow. Jeez. So when they got married, hold on a second. So during their wedding... That chick was four months pregnant, meaning the other chick from work was three months pregnant while they were having their wedding. Whoa, wow, wow. Okay. My younger sister grabbed the wheel while I was driving and we almost went into a ditch. I asked her why she did that. She told me she wanted to see my reaction. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Some people really do be crazy. What? You don't play with your life like that, okay? Please do not do that ever again. See, what what do you want? What reaction do you want to see? What? Reaction to them almost dying or something? I just want to see how scared you'd get. <laughs> Threw firecrackers in my bed while I was asleep in it. Jeez. You know, I feel like only child must be so happy reading this now. They must be like, I'm so glad I have no sibling. Thank you. She poisoned my cat. Her sister poisoned her cat. Threw out all the food while I was selling my belongings on eBay to pay rent because I was too fat and would use my things without asking sometimes using all of my consumables and then saying to my wife, don't worry, he's got money. I really don't think she understood I was literally recycling bottles and cans to make rent and she would steal the bill money I was saving for phone internet rent without a second thought and claim to our landlord I never paid her. The poisoning ended up being the last straw and we had to put him in an oxygen tent and he needed his stomach pumped. When it was all said and done, we were out of pocket all of our savings that we had recently started the home purchasing process and needed the cash to close. 
Instead, we couldn't afford closing costs and we ended up forfeiting all of the money we had put into the process before that point and had to deal with a broker wanting to sue us. So now I make it a point to never announce my visits to family. She's 60 minutes away from most of them, so she doesn't have time to show up. If I see her car parked at the relative's house I'm visiting, I will just drive away rather than risk engaging with her again. I can't believe she did that. You really have to have no heart to poison a pet. You living piece of trash, I swear. You know, I feel like most people would go crazy if something happened to something they love the most or someone they love the most by someone else harming them like this. Mm -mm -mm. He and his now ex-girlfriend had a super toxic relationship. I don't know the whole story as I was never close with her and I don't trust my brother's account of things but there was something my brother did once that made me decide he's a manipulative abuser. <sighs> he had his friend text him pretending to be the girlfriend's best friend. They orchestrated this whole story in which the best friend came on to my brother but he turned her down because he's loyal to his girl. He even went as far as to save his friend's contact information as the best friend's phone number. When he showed his girlfriend the text, it obviously looked like her best friend sent them. She ultimately believed my brother over her best friend because the phone number doesn't lie. Also, my brother is a fantastic liar, so that helped. Anyway, they've been broken up for years now and the ex-girlfriend and best friend still hate each other. They had been friends since they were seven. <gasps> Whoa! Why, wait, why did he do that though? Why did he ruin her friendship? Like, he wanted to show his girl how trustworthy he was or something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is creepy ass. Oh, that is really hard for the girl too though. Because... Yeah, it's pretty hard, you know, like you don't know who to trust. Like, do you trust your boyfriend or do you trust your best friend? Because things like that do happen, you know, like best friends coming on to, you know, your significant other. Ooh, that would be hard. And if you just think like straight ahead, you'd be like, well, this is her phone number and her phone number is texting my boyfriend. So it has to be her texting, right? Like, I get it. I get it. Oh, that is so crazy though. And in a relationship, it's so important to trust your partner, right? So I can understand like her being like, oh my gosh, you know, who do I trust? Uh, my boyfriend, or my best friend. Okay, I'll just trust my boyfriend because he's my partner and I should be trusting him. You know, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh. He really just screwed her up. He just played with her trust. And now she lost her best friend's trust. That's messed up. That's really messed up. Oh, wait, reading back, he saved his friend's contact as the best friend's phone number oh so he saved his friend's name as numbers is that what it is so it looks like the best friend's phone number is calling oh my gosh i thought he used like a device where it changes you know your number into someone else's number because i do know those exist because scammers you know so many scammers do that Oh my gosh, that's crazy though. I just feel bad for the girl and the best friend, honestly. Like, it was all a misunderstanding, right? Oh man, that sucks. That really sucks. I don't know. I'm just imagining myself in this situation. I mean, if that happened to me and then I found out my boyfriend did all that stuff, I would totally apologize to my best friend and hopefully hope that she will forgive me. Oh my gosh, that's, that's, that's... That's just too much, man. That sucks. If I loved a toy, my older sister would purposely break it in some way. <gasps> I had a teddy and I loved it so much, so she broke his mouth off. I loved porcelain dolls, so she broke all their hands or feet off. I loved Barbies, so she cut the hair or nose off or break a leg off. If I liked a stuffed animal, she would tear the eye off or its tail. When we got older, she would take my makeup and just mush the lipstick on my desk or snap the eyeliner so it cracked and couldn't be sharpened or just tap the eyeshadow upside down on my desk so it broke. I loved drawing and painting so she would just take a sharpie and hold it on the paper until it bled through every page. Enough! Enough! <laughs> you know, I can't believe she went through all that. You know, 
I'll be like, enough is enough. I will go crazy too, honestly. Like, you want to be the crazy one? Okay, I'm going to go crazy too then. She didn't accidentally do this stuff either. She is two years older than me and she would just casually walk in, break stuff and then walk out of the room like nothing happened. Only two years older? Yeah, I can take on that. <laughs> when I got old enough to like boys, she would ask me who I liked and then tell me that boy liked her. Even if she didn't know the boy at all, she would just say he liked her. Later, that advanced her to doing sexual things with any guy that I liked. I used to get my feelings hurt until I smartened up enough to tell her I liked my friend's older brother, Derek. Derek was 19 and had a prescription for vowel tracks. What's that? <laughs> let me see, let me see what it is. Mm. It's to treat herpes. Oh. Wow, whoa, okay, this, this, wow, she really did smarten up, you know. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.